So, so the superorbital nerve, you can usually feel a little notch there where it comes out. But the best thing to do is have you frown, give me the biggest frown you got. You can see the creasing in the skin, that's where this, the corrugator muscle attaches to the dermis. If you see this little indentation there, that's where the muscle's attaching. So I'm going to go a little bit lateral to that and go on and, and basically chase the, the line from this spot down to the base of the nose, which is where that muscle actually originates, and then it pulls on the skin. Okay, so let me give you a little more ice here. And this is single dilute, so it's two, two cc's per hundred units. And once again, we're going to use, well, actually here we use about 15 units per side, or 12 and a half, 12 and a half, and then five uh, in the middle. Okay, big frown. Okay, relax. Now this, when I inject here, I do not fan it. Because I'm afraid it's more likely to give you atosis. So I'll go right down to the base of the nose there, and then inject on the way out. I'll do about 12 and a half. Okay. Hold a little pressure so I don't get a bruise. Okay. Give me a big frown again now. Okay, relax. Another bump. Right down the base of the nose here. There's a medial branch of the supraorbital nerve that heads, can head up underneath the procerus muscle here, so I'll give you just a little bit in the middle. This will be superficial, the procerus is superficial. Oh. There you go. That's it. Wonderful. You okay? Fine.